We are closing in on yet another descending triangle, and the next move could be much bigger than everyone expects, even much bigger than the last move just a week ago. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and happy Halloween. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Bitcoin because man, this might be one of the last videos that I get to make on this even smaller descending triangle here on Bitcoin's daily chart. We're gonna take a look in the four and one hour, really just zoom in and see what's going on there. Because guys, by the time this video gets uploaded, it might not even be intact. This thing is so slippery, this thing could absolutely bust at any second. You probably hear in a lot of people's videos that a breakout is coming, but guys, I just wanna stress right now, I really do think that we are about to see a huge move. We cannot sit on the top of this even larger falling wedge inside of a descending triangle for long without something happening. So we're gonna spend a lot of time taking a look at this in this video. If that sounds interesting to you guys, make sure to stick around. Guys, as well, my team and I are considering doing the biggest Bitcoin giveaway that we've ever done. So all you have to do to enter is leave a like, leave a subscribe, and comment in the comments. Hashtag happy Halloween BTC, hashtag BTC, or hashtag boo BTC. And guys, I just wanna point something out as well. Because uh, something happened a little earlier today before we jumped into TA I did get a comment from from somebody they left a few comments all within a very short amount of time So they definitely wanted to get my attention But basically what the comment was, you know, the first few comments were actually kind of nice But then I guess maybe because I didn't see them quick enough and I didn't respond They quickly turned into they quickly turned into hateful comments One of them even saying that I that I scam people on this channel and I take their money guys realistically how do I make any money from this channel? You could look in my description right now, you will see two links, my Instagram and my Twitter. I don't have links for donations, I don't have links for affiliate, nothing. I make zero money. The only money that I make on this channel is for ads. Believe me, that money is a lot less than you might think it is. And as well, another reason I put ads on my videos is because YouTube suggests videos with ads on them because as, as you guys may or may not know, YouTube gets half of all the ads for each channel's uh, ads that run on their channel. So of course, YouTube will want to promote videos that are running ads. So of course, I'm gonna run ads on my videos because it gives my videos a better chance of reaching the public. However, everything else that most other crypto YouTubers do, whether it's affiliate links, donations, links to this, whatever it is, I don't have any of those. So if anyone's making money on crypto videos, I am probably doing the worst job. I am probably doing the worst job of trying to make money for my followers. In fact, nobody pays me a dime. So thank you, Xavier Fernandez, for that shout out or for that question. Wow, and I am just so pumped. Today's gonna be great, guys. Let's just get right into the TA because this stuff is really exciting. Let's just dive right into it. We can start on the daily here, uh, so we can just get a big picture of this. You know, there's only about four or five candles here, so you can't see too much, uh, and that's why we need to zoom in. So before we do, you can see this line right here is the top of that falling wedge. If we zoom out, you can see this falling wedge here. This falling wedge. This is the other descending triangle that started back at the end of June, and then finally peaked and blew out at the end of September. So about three months in this in this descending triangle. Now we have a very small one right here. Um, but yes, you can see it fell out of this descending triangle into this falling wedge, found support there and bounced up. And currently we're sitting right above the falling wedge, trying to maintain support after that rally just a few days ago on October 25th, six days ago. And now we are trying to hold support. And guys, it's really, uh, it, it could go either way. So if we zoom in here, you can see the falling wedge there. You can see it much better on the four hour. See how it kind of expands a little bit. You can see a lot more of it here. So this is that falling wedge. It's right here. Uh, sorry, not the falling wedge. That This is the top of the falling wedge right here. And this is the descending triangle right here. So you see the bottom of the triangle right here. And then the descending part of the triangle right here. And guys, as you can see here, there's not a lot of room until this pattern most likely will be no longer and will probably change into another pattern. So it's very interesting, you guys. Got to keep that in mind. Things are probably going to get heated really quick here. Uh, and again, if we switch to the daily, I just want to point something out and then we can jump back into the four and one hour. You can see currently we're still above all these EMAs, the 50, 200, and the 21 as well. Now, you might be thinking, well, do descending triangles break up or down more often? That's a question that you might not want to ask uh, unless you are really hoping that uh, these prices might get lower because usually descending triangles do not necessarily break up. Um, but again, I, I think even on this small of a time frame, doesn't necessarily guarantee anything, meaning we could have a breakout as well, but we really need to test the top of this falling wedge. I think that's crucial. We have already tested it. As you can see on this four hour chart, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
uh, 11 times in the past only about five days. So we've really been testing this, hitting this hard. And guys, we just gotta be careful right here. Uh, and if we zoom into the one hour, you can get an even better picture of this. Um, you can just get more data instead of four hour candles. You can see uh, on the one hour, we've touched even more on these, uh, on these candles here, on these wicks. So things are absolutely getting heated. Now, in terms of what's going on you know, with the other space, some of you guys might be thinking, well, I like Bitcoin, but I hold more altcoins, and I mainly follow Bitcoin to try and get an idea of where the entire market might go. That's a great question, glad you asked. And basically to answer that question, uh, if Bitcoin breaks down, we could probably see the rest of the market follow like what happens 99% of the time. And if it breaks up, we will most likely see the rest of the market follow as well. So again, guys, these are crucial times. Um, what I want to do is draw your attention to this. If we take it, if we take a step back and we go all the way back, we take a step back and we go all the way back to this period of sideways trading, uh, which th this wedge, I'm sure some people had on some of their charts. Maybe some people did, maybe some people didn't, but you can see clearly here, this was a, a pattern that people were watching for, uh, this wedge, at least in terms of the bigger pattern, the more macro pattern on the, on the daily there. It's very clear now when we look back at it, it always is. It's always more clear once more data has been shown. Uh, and for example, I can give you an example of this. If this would potentially break out of this uh, and find some support around 89 out of this descending triangle and bounce up, that would be great. But again, if this, if this pattern is valid and if this is a descending triangle, those usually have more momentum and it would break down even more so. However, we do have a lot of EMAs coming in right here. You might be wondering, is this the death cross right here, uh, right here? And what does that mean for the market? Well, it's the 200 and the 21, so that's not really a death cross. It's usually the or death cross is the 250 EMA overlapping. But yeah, guys, without a doubt, uh, we are we are on the verge of probably some big price movement. Now, tomorrow is Friday. Last Friday, we saw that explosive price action. Last Friday, we saw this explosive price action. Uh, and then the following day, Saturday, we saw equally as explosive. It did close not nearly as high. Went all the way to 10,300, although it closed... Uh, almost an well actually more than an entire thousand dollars less than that around 93 um, so it kind of did run out, run out of momentum there obviously you can see where it found a rejection right at the top uh, where this was struggling to get above in the descending triangle we can uh, zoom out so you guys can get a better picture of that uh, this three month descending triangle is where it found resistance kind of in the middle of that triangle where it found resistance throughout the whole triangle so we're really kind of struggling to get above that but guys the thing is we also have to think about this if we want the bull market to continue and if we really want some higher prices, prices are actually dipping as I'm making the video as I said earlier. This, guys, this stuff's getting crazy really quick. And again, by the time I get this posted, this might all have already changed. That's how, that's how close we are to really just seeing some crazy stuff happen in this market. But basically that is to say, guys, this, this is kind of a make or break moment. Are you uh, hoping to see higher prices within the next three months or are you hoping to just continue to, to buy and accumulate. Because guys, what we're gonna end the video on now is something I think is very important as well. Um, if we take a really big zoom out, let's even go to the weekly so we can get a more condensed, condensed version of this. You can see, I'm not gonna really draw your attention back to all the halvings necessarily, which is what these Bitcoin halvings, what this line is right here. But one thing you can notice, we are really coming into the time where things start curving up. Um, but, you know, we, we only have a few havings, a handful of havings to pull that data from. So really, it's not like we can look back at each having and say this is exactly what will happen, but it's a good reference, right? Could be a good reference. But most importantly, guys, most importantly here, we are coming into the area where we're going to start curving up. So maybe we actually have found the bottom. And that's really important to keep in mind. Maybe we have found the bottom. And maybe we really are about to turn up, really turn up and head for 70, 80, 90, 100,000 dollar Bitcoin sometime in the second half of 2020. Realistic enough, I definitely think that could happen. And we could, this could be one of the last opportunities. We don't know. We, we can't know until it's all played out. But guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're new, definitely make sure to hit leave that like, subscribe. Uh, we're so happy everything going on with the channel. Had so many great words. Uh, thanks so much for coming by and I'll see you in the next episode.